right here I got a Valley four pin flat trailer harness pretty typical uh, trailer harness I'm going to show you how to wire this up into your truck SUV or if you're a venturing fella your car like I used to have one of these on my car and it served me really well on my 4x8 trailer for a lot of years kind of miss it but uh, I'm gonna guess that you have a truck also like you not everybody does things hee haw like me and drives around with a car on a 4x8 trailer people look at me and say hey what the heck can I get can I afford a truck actually I could I just chose to have a car I like cars I'm a car guy I don't like trucks too much so anyway um, like I said the four pin flat harness we're gonna go into uh, I also have an electric brake module both of these products are made by Valley it's a line that we sell in stock it's the stuff that I use, the stuff that I like. Um, but regardless of the brands, these colors and the functions and how they install are pretty much across the board all the same. So let me start here with this trailer harness. Now on here you'll notice that you got you got three female prongs and you got one male. Now on the other side, the trailer side, you would have the same thing but just in reverse. You would have a single female and you would have three males. So that way you can't screw it up when you, two, when you plug the two into each other. So let me explain to you how this works. Okay, um, unlike a lot of 12 volt accessories, uh, ground is not black. So don't make that mistake and jump in there and see a black wire and start connecting it to ground because you'll fry your electrical system. Okay, so white. Okay, white in this trailer harness, the white goes to a direct ground. Okay, and I would not suggest that you connect that and just or omit it and expect to get your ground through the ball on your hitch and your receiver it's not a good idea um, it is going to give you ground I mean depending on how rusted your truck is you can't really rely on it so always run this through you know keep it short and try to run your ground as close to the back of your vehicle as you possibly can that's going to be your white next one over you got your brown brown very straightforward it's the same color as a GM running light wire at least in most of them up to 2007 before they started getting a little weird but still to today for your own reference that's typically the color brown is your running running light wire okay or your parking light wire so when you turn your, your switch on you go to the back of your vehicle and you see your red lights are on and your tail lights that's where you're gonna put your brown that wire is gonna rest at ground and when you turn your lights on it's gonna show 12 volts so that's your brown next two you got are your yellow and you got your green Yellow is going to go to you. Yellow is your left turn signal. So that wire is going to be located in your, in your you got to most likely pull out your, um, you know, your tail light there. Uh, break out the multimeter, put it on there. That wire should rest at ground and should shoot the tw show the 12 volts when you, when you hear the turn signal clicking. That's where this wire is going to go to, left directional. Your green is going to do the same thing, but on the opposite side, the right side. That's going to be your right side blinker. Again, rest at ground. It's going to show 12 volts when the light is illuminating when it's blinking. And how you're getting your stoplight is basically a combination between the two, which is done in the vehicle typically through the flashers. It's going to apply 12 volts to both of these simultaneously. That's how you get your brake. In some vehicles, a lot of imports, there is a, an adapter that you need to purchase in, a, in addition to this. But that is something I am not going to go into. Perhaps another video. This is going to be good for most of you guys out there. Standard four pin flat harness. You know, there are also, you know, the flat pins, which go into those round circular type of deals. Um, you know, you can always get the adapter, but if you're using a round type of plug, always the wires are the same. And if they didn't, keep the same wires in they're idiots because that's the way it should be. But that's your four pin main harness. Okay, now I want to get into the electric brake module. I brought one here. It's another Valley product. It's the Odyssey line. See, it's got a little adjustable output right there. And basically, the purpose of this is if you have, you know, say like an F 150 and you have a class one hitch and you're rated for about 3,000 pounds, but you know, your buddy says, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you hook up my car trail? And now you're pulling 4,500 pounds and you're really pushing the envelope, right? That's not safe. That's not a good idea. So, you might want to invest in using one of these systems okay now the trailer itself would have to have the electrical brake solenoids installed in it already in order to use this because this works in conjunction with it okay so don't use these these crimp on crap connectors 
I call these things crap. You don't want to use those. If you watch my videos, use that information, make a good connection the right way. Don't use those god awful things. And in here, very straightforward, um, you got your power 12 volts, which is black in most of these scenarios. Don't think that this is ground like it is in most 12 volt accessories, it's the complete opposite. That's your power. White again, it's going to be a ground. You got your brake input and your output. So one's going to go to the brake wire right at your light. The output's going to run to the solenoids in the back of the trailer. You adjust it by driving it and testing it out and seeing how, what you need and how much you don't need. This will have an LED when you depress the brake and let you know that it's actually working. And that's it. So you got your, you know, trailer harness, four pin flat, little brake module. That's the tall and short of it.